guys. I'm on the hunt this morning with a, my good buddy, Jason. Nope. That's the man right there. Anyways, it's just breaking daylight. And he has a tag for a buck or a doe. So we're hoping either or comes through. So he can drop the hammer. <laughs> He's ready. Anyways, it's real quiet this morning. That's why I'm talking so quiet. But there's no wind really in the little bit of wind that we have going that way. So it's hitting us in the face, which is perfect because the deer are going to come from that way. I'm guessing. So anyways, we're set up and ready. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens here. doing a small drive for Jason and I. We're set up. So hopefully something comes through. He has a buck and a doe tag, so hopefully he can make he can make it happen if we put if one comes through. I'm sure he can. I've seen him. I've seen him in the past. He's a pretty good shot. Let's get it. The wind's right, so we'll see. There's some deer in this area. Deer, deer coming, buddy. Get your safe off. Get your safe off. All right, get ready. Get ready. See a deer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right, right, right ahead of you. Just get ready. See it? It just stops. Hang on. It ran over the top. There, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. They're coming down the top. Just hang on, Jason. It's a spike. Don't shoot it. Do not shoot it. Don't shoot it. Hang on. Let me look. It's not. No, it's not legal. Do not shoot it. It's a spike. Yes, I'm positive. Don't shoot it. I'm sorry. Just be ready. There might be more. spike. One of the only things we can't shoot. And that's what came by me and Jason. As you saw. That's oh, man, he was ready. Close call. Came right in at 50 yards, so sucks. But you can't shoot him in PA. You gotta have three on one side and 4D, so how it goes. chance. Let's see if we can get her done. That's our area. Yes, sir. Okay, get ready. Hold on, Jason. Okay, don't. Why are they walking? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there they are. There they are. Get ready. They're going to come in the opening. All right. Are you on them? Shoot them. Deck one and shoot. 
Reload. Reload. Hold on. I think you missed. Get ready, there might be more. Did I miss? I think. There's like eight of them. Yeah. Were you on one? Yeah. Right behind the shoulder. Second. I was on him. I, I think it. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I was right on him, so. You're kind of walking fast a little bit. I saw. It looked like you hit leaves. Oh, really? But I, I can't tell. It might have went right through. It's going to blow right through it, so I don't know, Jason. What happened, Jason? I might have missed, but I saw that there's I saw there's, there's a herd of deer. I saw like three of them, but after I yeah, you I spotted shot, them first. I shot at the second one, and then uh, I saw like a group of six of them. I didn't reload fast enough for another shot. I'm not sure. I might have hit it. He might have. He might be down. It might be down. I'm not sure. We're gonna go check. So it was exciting. He spotted them before I did. Good eye. I did. Yeah. There's my dad. Drove them right to us. What? Yeah, he shot down into there. What? Good footwear is a necessity for the lifestyle I live. So this is brought to you by Brunt. They reached out to me and sent me an amazing pair of boots and I've got to wear them the last few days and I am not just saying this, these boots are so comfortable right out of the box. They are waterproof and you put them on and literally, it's honestly amazing how comfortable they are. I've wore a lot of different kinds of boots over the years, obviously, for what I do. Some of them are way more expensive than these and honestly, I think these are way better than those other boots I've wore. I'm not gonna mention any names, but I've tried quite a few different companies and these boots are awesome. I, I'm not just saying that either. These are the six inch soft toe Marin boots by Brunt. Use discount code HOLDERMAN10 for $10 off your order. Go ahead, take my word for it. Get yourself a pair of Bront boots. The brand that is transforming workwear. All right. Get that camera off of me. <laughs> it happens. We came to the uh, assumption that Jason missed. It happens. I missed one last week. I think he's a little upset, but I understand I've been there. But we just scoured the area and we didn't find any blood, so clean miss. Tag for tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Keep getting after it, so. All right, wrapping it up. We had some close calls Good today. Five-hour hunt today. But we we had some action. But hey, that's the way it goes. That's hunting. You uh, miss all the shots you never take. Just remember that. So we. Michael Scott said that, right? I think so. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. All right, we got about an hour left till dark. I'm with my buddy Jason again, and we're hunting buck and doe. We're in a ground blind tonight watching a field, and we have high hopes. Why are you whispering? <laughs> He's not funny. Okay. Anyways, I'll tune in once we have some deer, hopefully feed out into this field. Stay tuned.
my buddy Jason and I would get to watch this deer for the next 30 to 40 minutes, but no other deer would show themselves. All right, it's a rainy day in Pennsylvania. I'm with one of my favorite hunting buddies, the man and his brother. <laughs> As you saw last year, on a, quite a few hunts with him and had success. So we've shared some great memories out here, so we're after it again. Uh, I think it's like the 7th or 8th day of the PA rifle season now, so we're hunting buck, doe, or not, no, no doe, buck or bear. So we're in 4D. That's the game plan, so we're doing a drive this morning. So stay tuned. to us hopefully or a bear so stay tuned you can see how steep it is guys <laughs> Lovely weather here in central Pennsylvania. you do for deer. It's calling for 50 mile an hour wind gusts and heavy rain, so that's really nice. I'm gonna get tucked in in this little crevice. There's a little spot here, so maybe stay out of the rain a little bit. I doubt it. But Great. Oh, smokes. Be careful. Wow. Storm. Try 
trying to stay down. Holy smokes. Some rough weather, guys. Whew. Really rough. Guys, this is like 50, 30 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts. The weather state, special weather statement was calling for 50 mile an hour and I just watched this big tree bend right over. I'm literally on top of the mountain just about, so. We're already set and have a deer drive going, so we're gonna tough it out, but wow, weather, the weather is just terrible. As the wind pushed the trees back and forth, back and forth, and the rain pelted me in the face, I kept optimistic, hoping a buck would come my way or even a bear. But on this day, it did not happen. Nothing came my way and none of us ended up seeing anything. But as any hunter knows, that's part of hunting. All right, guys, I'm hunting with my buddy Jason tonight. He was in my West Virginia video. He dropped a big old doe down there. And we're in Pennsylvania. Hunting. We got a few hours till dark. So we're gonna watch a few cuts tonight. We can see down. So we're heading in, stay tuned. He's hunting doe, I'm hunting buck. He's got the lever. Beautiful gun. Let's get it done. All right. We have a little bit of a different uh, view tonight. Change of pace for me and him. We're hunting out of a hunting shack tonight. So we have a little more leniency for movement. And we're out of the elements, which tonight's a really even, nice evening in Pennsylvania, but it is nice sometimes to just sit back and relax and have a little more leniency to move around and even talk a little bit. So <laughs> this is this is what we're at tonight, where we're at. Jason might try and use his pistol tonight if he gets one close enough. You good?
ready? Yep. Did you see him or not? Yeah. Where'd he go? He went back to the right. He jumped pretty good. Did he? Yeah. If I hit him, it's a miracle. That is the longest I've ever shot at a deer. But you I was. saw his horns pretty good, didn't you? I mean, he's pretty nice and wide. I, yeah, he's I mean. He's like this for his ears. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, yeah. I could see white that far, so. Yeah, he's nice. Could you see him in there or not? All right, guys, I just shot like 300 yards with my 308, so I had a dead rest, but it looked like a really nice buck. We know it's legal, but it just was, I don't know how big, big it is because we're losing light. It's like literally the last couple minutes of legal shooting hours, so we're going to get our stuff and head down and check. Long shot, guys, but I was dead rest, so we'll see. All right, guys, my buddy's getting the rest of his stuff. We're going to go and check the shot. There was literally like two, three minutes left of shooting hour, so we'll see. We'll see what happened. It was, it was a long, probably the longest shot I've ever made, but I had a dead rest. I know my gun will shoot far, so, I mean, shoot pretty accurate at a long distance, so. We're gonna go look, so stay tuned. All right, we're getting close to where I shot. Getting close to where I shot. My buddy and I went back and forth looking for blood, but unfortunately we never found any. After reviewing the footage, it looks like I hit just in front of the deer, so it was a clean miss. I was pretty upset, but I was happy I at least got an opportunity. All right, I'm walking in. I'm with my buddy Jason again. He was with me in West Virginia and we're hunting the second week of rifle in Pennsylvania. He has a doe tag. I have a buck tag so that's the plan. Hopefully we can fill a tag today. We're walking in. Stay tuned.
one side and I'm looking for a decent buck. I don't want to shoot nothing small, like real small, but a decent one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it have it, so stay tuned. second week of rifle in Pennsylvania and I got a buck and a doe tag so either or would work tonight so I'm sitting on the ground I got a place dug out and I'm gonna be watching this tonight the wind's hit me in the face Actually going like against my face, so it's going up this way, which is somewhat behind me. So I expect the deer to come from that way, that way. So that's good. But it's real quiet tonight, so I should be able to hear them coming. But there's a field behind me, so they usually start working out to go to that field. I've hunted the field a few night evenings, but I haven't saw them, so I figured I would sit a little bit in the woods tonight off the field edge, maybe catch them sitting in the woods, standing in the woods before they come out at, the dark, at dark, so let's see, stay tuned. The deer ended up going out of frame of my camera, but when she came to the right, she got in between two trees and I had a good opening and I shot. sure I connected on a good shot I was right behind the shoulder and I'm pretty sure I heard her pile up so I gather my stuff up and I'm gonna go see if I got her so stay tuned all right I'm gonna go check my shot
And just so your eyes can clear, I know you can see skylight in the back, but there's a backdrop. This hill goes up to the next level. And I was shooting when I shot. If the bullet would have missed, it would have went right into the hill. All right, I found the marks where they ran down the hill. There was two does together, so. Tell you what, it's hard sometimes finding blood in the dark. <laughs> Here we go, guys. See that? There's blood. Here's blood. Blood, blood, blood. 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 More blood. Blood. I think this was a death run, guys. There she is. Got her done. Look at that dough. Sweet. Alright guys, I got my dough. I got the tag notched and ready. I just want to say I'm really thankful for this deer. I hunted hard this season and I've got some does, that's about all, but this deer's gonna go to my sister and brother-in-law, they like venison, so I'm sure they'll be real thankful for this deer and I know I am. Nice sized doe. So. I like to take a minute after I get one. I appreciate it. I appreciate the animal. This is the fun part, dragging them out. I got her drug most of the way. All right, guys, got her back to the truck, got her loaded. So, successful night. On an evening sit in Pennsylvania, second week of rifle. You can't beat it, put a lot of time in, finally got a good shot right before dark. So glad I can make it happen and make a good shot on it. So thanks for watching. Till next time, like I always say, keep it outside.